remember the enchanting and victorious Accord 7? As it turned out, the 8th generation of the model, which does not differ much technically from its ancestor, is inferior to it. Let's figure out what exactly. It turns out that creating a new car in the image and likeness of the previous one is not so simple. The Japanese honestly tried to fix the bad, and make the good even better. But it turned out, alas, worse. The 8th Accord, CU Index, turned out to be more complicated and more expensive, at the same time it lost the outward dashing and youthfulness of the 7th generation model. And over time, the GA generates a hefty list of necessary and not the cheapest restoration work, which was noted much less frequently after the previous accord by the same date. In fairness, we admit that most of the troubles are related to the features and place of operation. The car is still strong, but local costs, the discipline of service, the quality of oil and fuel, are doing their disastrous work. Yes, and the image of the Accord does not encourage its owners to a measured and thrifty ride. And yet, the car has a fair, and very, margin of safety. The 2-liter 156-strong R20 engine, although it drives a heavy car purely in a pensioner's way, was not noticed in unprovoked technical whims. The 2.4-liter K24 engine is also a match for him, in fact, the standard of aspirated. However, its design is somewhat more complicated. Paired with an automatic, it will not provide an advantage in dynamics over the R20. In addition, this engine is inferior to its 2-liter counterpart in fuel efficiency and maintenance costs. If the first serious symptoms calling for immediate prevention of engine health appear only after 150 to 200,000 km, then both transmissions, mechanics and automatic, with a timely oil change, often do not get sick even longer. The problem of the AKP is its inhibition, which will have to be put up with. But it will be more difficult to put up with other features. The machine is heavy, which leads to the rapid consumption of brake pads and discs. Moreover, cheap non-original pads, such as harder ones, will gobble up discs twice as fast. Already by 80,000 km, the steering rack will begin to make noise. Its price at the dealer is more than $600, the reconstruction will cost three times less. And after 80,000 km, play appears in the ball bearings. Separately, only the front lower support can be replaced, the upper one comes with a lever. The storm of indignation is caused by prices. For example, the native upper arm with a ball joint, front, can pull $250, and a similar rear pair can pull under $450. Surely upset the rear springs, about $200, which sag even up to 100,000 km. It is worth keeping a close eye on the anthers of drives that do not like frost and burst. Gone are the days of ideal Japanese bodies. Now these are massive chips on the front of the body, thin paintwork and corrosion. By the age of 10, she will probably settle under the seals, along the edges of the doors and in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200 catch. The latter, by the way, has a constructive miscalculation. After 3 to 4 years, creases appear on the roof around it. But inside, everything is somewhat more optimistic. The materials are high quality and the comfort is great. Fabric upholstery is much more durable than leather, and the rattling rear shelf can be pulled up. Do not think that we are deliberately escalating. No, the Accord is a solid and quite reliable car. You just need to look at it when you buy everything. Spare parts are sometimes inexplicably expensive, and cheap substitutes here do not always roll. But Accord will safely store the money invested in it. It's getting cheaper. A timing chain replacement can cost $400 labor plus the same amount for the sprocket chain. However, a common problem with both engines was gentle catalysts. Cold starts and driving in traffic jams provoke chipping and dust after 150,000 km, which entail accelerated wear of the piston group. By the way, the cooling radiator here does not tolerate a high-pressure washer. It's worth keeping this in mind. The 5-speed automatic transmission works flawlessly with regular oil and filter changes. Sometimes it can scare with a howl when starting from a place or a buzz in second and third gears. There is no need to be afraid, this is not a breakdown. But our choice is MCP6. Even in the hands of daredevils it may require minor repairs, replacement of synchronizers, only after 200,000 km. It can be seen that Honda has deeply implemented its sports developments. You can't call a particularly durable suspension. The resource of shock absorbers is up to 60,000 km. Often you have to change ball joints. In addition, the fasteners of the multi-link and weak tubular levers corrode at the back, which provokes, if you jump through the pits and ride on large discs, regular control of the suspension geometry. Wheel bearings may require replacement after 100,000 km. There are many complaints about the quality of the color of the sedan. 
chips in the front of the body and under film corrosion nearby must be immediately eliminated. The roof area under the upper windshield molding is vulnerable. Moreover, when the red is shown from under the rubber, prevention is already powerless. This and many other problems are simply painted over. Versions with the hatch are fraught with similar problems under the sealing gum. Motors are sensitive to the state of lambda sensors and ignition modules. Sometimes the engine management system is naughty. Treatment, remove the fuse for a minute. A failure of the MICU is manifested by problems with the seat memory system, external and interior lighting. Minor troubles with parking sensors are associated with not very reliable sensors. 